Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Northwich Naturals range. So if that sounds like something that interests you then keep watching. Alright, so first off, let me just say that I received all of these products in PR, which means that it was gifted to me by the brand. And as you guys already know, I also have a discount code with the brand, which is Michelle20. However, my review will be completely objective and there will be no biases in this review. Alright, with that being said, let's get into it. So first off, I want to talk about the shampoo. And this is one of the products that I was very, very impressed by. So I have been gravitating towards this shampoo so much recently. Every time I use a pre-poo, this is the shampoo that I reach towards. Every time I color my hair and I feel like, okay, now I have to wash the color off. This is the shampoo that I go to because it lathers so nicely. It is so cleansing. It is able to cut through that oil, cut through that color. However, it does not dry my hair out, which is why I have really been enjoying the shampoo. If you are somebody who uses pre-poos and you don't like shampoos that are super mild and super gentle, then I feel like this would be the shampoo for you. That being said, it does not strip your hair out. You're not going to feel that tight feeling. You'll still feel like there's a lot of moisture in the shampoo. Alright, next let's talk about the conditioner. So when it comes to my hair and when it comes to a conditioner, the only thing that I'm looking for is insane slip because I wash my hair every seven days and sometimes I tend to neglect that seven day mark. So maybe if I'm editing or something, sometimes it stretches out to eight days, nine days. I'm not proud of it, but it does happen. And at the end of the week, when I go to wash my hair, sometimes my hair is super matted. And so I look for incredible slip that is the only thing that I'm looking for in my conditioner. This conditioner does not cut it for me because I feel like the slip is medium and my hair needs a lot more. If you have already bought this conditioner and you feel like you have to use it, then I feel like mix this up with an oil and deep condition with this if you have low to medium porosity hair. And I feel like that way, if you've already bought it, then you could get your money's worth. Alright, so next let's talk about the gel. This has flaxseed and aloe vera. Now, let me just say that this is a light to medium hole gel. And for me, if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you know that my hair is wavy and I need a lot of hold, especially on wash days. And so I do not prefer to use this gel on its own. If you like medium or light hole gels, then this could be something that could work for you. However, for me, what I tend to do is I take this gel, I mix it with my Enliven because obviously this is totally CG friendly. It does not have alcohols and stuff, right? So I tend to mix and match and then make it work for me. So let's say when I'm styling my hair, I'll completely use this gel. However, when I take the plop off, then I'll go in with my Enliven and sort of glaze my hair once more. And that is the way that I can make this gel work for me. Another way in which I could make this gel work for me is on days when I'm refreshing because this could be like a one and done product because it's so moisturizing, right? And aloe and flaxseed, those are film forming humectants. And so sometimes what I do is I'll just take some water and this gel mixed in my hand and just smooth it through my hair. And that is another way that I'm able to use this gel. However, on wash days, when I'm looking for that volume, when I'm looking for that structure, when I'm looking for that definition, this gel does not cut it for me. All right, but I have to mention that my husband has been absolutely obsessed with the gel. So you won't be able to see how much has been used, but I feel like more than half is gone. So my husband uses gel on his hair and on his beard. But since I use the Enliven and the Enliven gel has alcohol, I asked him to switch to this instead because obviously he's not looking for so much hold. He's just looking for everything to look nice and neat. And he has been enjoying this gel a lot. He just takes a little bit of it, mixes it with water and then just tames his beard and tames his hair and he's really been enjoying this. So he's been enjoying it and I know that I have some male viewers who also follow CGM and so I thought let me mention it. 
Now, I know I sped through that section because I want to spend enough time talking about the leave-in conditioner. Because I feel like when you're looking for shampoos and conditioners, you have so many options. However, when it comes to a leave-in conditioner, that is the place that we generally struggle, right? To find the one that fits our hair. And so I'm going to spend a little more time with the leave-in conditioner. All right. So I've used the leave-in conditioner today and you've also seen me using this leave-in conditioner in my last video. If you haven't seen that video, then I'm going to put it up here in the cards and you'll also find it linked in the description. So the leave-in conditioner is a super light formulation. I feel like it's a level 1.5 to a 2. If you don't know what that means, then I would ask you to watch the video up here. And I'll also leave it down in the description where I explain the levels of moisture that you can get from a leave-in conditioner. And guys, to be very honest, if you're looking for a leave-in conditioner and you're trying to see what fits your needs best, then I feel like this level system that I've come up with is something that you guys need to sort of stress on and focus on, try to identify your hair's needs and then pick a leave-in conditioner that matches your hair's needs best. All right, so on the screen right here, I'm gonna leave exactly how much I use when it comes to grams and how long I feel like this product is going to last me. All right, so now let me talk about some of the things that I absolutely loved about the leave-in conditioner. And by now, if you guys haven't figured it out, I'm in love with the leave-in conditioner. However, there are some negatives, but let's start with all of the positives first. Number one, it is a super light formulation and it will not weigh your hair down. The leave-in conditioner, the consistency, the texture is so nice and so emulsifiable that literally you'll put it on your hands, you'll emulsify and you'll feel like it's not greasy, it is not heavy. It is super, super light and if you feel like your hair needs a little more, then you can add a little more. So, you guys know that I section my hair in four and then I apply my leave-in conditioner. On each section, I tend to use three to four pumps. And I know that seems like a lot, but trust me, the leave-in conditioner is so light that you can literally use extra if you feel like your hair needs it, but it still will not weigh your hair down. So the leave-in conditioner does not pill at all. The consistency is so nice, it is so light, it is so smooth that quite literally when you emulsify and you use praying hands, it is totally sufficient. You're not going to have any of those pilling or those little pieces of conditioner on your hair when you use it. And this problem tends to happen when you're using praying hands, right? You feel like you apply the product and then suddenly it gets all coagulate -y. It kind of sticks to your hair. However, with this leave-in conditioner, I did not have that problem. Next, let me talk about the structure and the shrinkage and the definition that this leave-in conditioner gives me. I am completely stumped. I have not used another leave-in conditioner that gives my hair so much texture and so much definition. So, you guys know that I am a 2B girl, but literally every time I use this leave-in conditioner, I feel like my hair goes more towards the 2C. And I also have some 3A pieces, which is super exciting. Whenever I use this leave-in conditioner, I see these very obvious tight ringlets on my hair. Quite literally, guys, the structure and the definition that I get from this leave-in conditioner is absolutely unmatched and I am so 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 impressed by this product all right so those were some of the things that i absolutely loved about the product now let me talk about some of the things that i did not like about the product number one moisture retention for high porosity hair so this is what you need to understand the higher the number on the scale which i'm going to place right here the more you're going to be able to retain moisture now, this does not apply for low to medium porosity girls. However, when it comes to high porosity hair, you will see that your cuticle is always open, right? It is lifted. And so your hair will struggle a little more to retain that moisture. So when you're looking at moisture retention, you have to look at the scale right here. And you'll have to understand that products that are a level 4, level 5, level 6 would work much better for high porosity hair when it comes to moisture retention as compared to something that would be a level 1 or a 2. And like I said, this product is a level 1.5 to a 2. 
So if you have high porosity hair and your hair struggles with moisture retention, then you will realize that products that are higher up on the scale, so if they're level 4, level 5, level 6, then you'll be able to retain moisture much better. However, if you have high porosity hair and you're using a product that is not moisturizing enough for you, so let's say you're using a product that is 1, 2, 3, and I categorize this product as a 1.5 to 2, and therefore, if you're using this product on its own and then you're going in with a gel, then if you have high porosity hair, you will definitely struggle with moisture retention throughout the week, which means that your hair will not retain moisture from day one to day seven. I would say that it would last you, let's say for two days, two and a half days, but definitely not more than that. And so my recommendation would be to pair this up either with a butter so you can use shea butter or I'll leave the video up here and down in the description for the butters that would suit you based on your porosity. If you have high porosity hair, you're struggling with moisture retention and you want to use this product in combination with a butter, then I would recommend using shea butter. All you have to do is whisk the butter so that it's nice and fluffy and it's not very buttery and emulsify in your hands and apply you should be fine or another thing that you can do that i have been absolutely loving is using the log method with this product so i use the leave-in and then i use the oil and then i use a gel and trust me guys when it comes to the structure that this product gives me yes i know that technically i should be using something that is a level four However, the level 4 product is not going to give me the same structure as this product gives me and so I much rather use this, use an oil and then go in with gel because that way I get to enjoy the structure and the shrinkage that this product gives me and I can also enjoy moisture retention throughout the week. I have a video on log, I'll leave it up here and link down below. Alright, so the next thing that you guys might not like about the product is the fragrance. If you have a super sensitive nose, then maybe you get triggered by fragrances. I 100% do. However, the fragrance of this is super mild. It has a green tea sort of fragrance and I absolutely love it. I really enjoy it. And so it does not trigger my migraines. However, I don't want to speak for everyone. If you have a problem with fragrances, then maybe this would not work for you. And so I definitely wanted to point that out. All right, so let's talk about the next thing that I did not quite enjoy about the product. I feel like the quality of these products are so high. However, the packaging does not match the quality. And I know that I definitely do not talk about packaging per se, but I feel like in the case of this product, the labeling is very chaotic. There's a lot going on here. And so I feel like if the brand ever wanted to change the label and make this a little more aesthetically pleasing, I feel like that has a great impact on our wash day. I feel like it has a great impact on the consumer. And right now I feel like these products are really nice quality and I feel like the packaging is not doing the quality or the formula justice. But that is my personal preference. You might not feel the way that I do. Right now, very honestly, if I could give the brand some notes from my side, I would say that the packaging is definitely not doing justice or not matching up to the quality of the products. So that is just a bit of constructive criticism from my side. But I felt like I wanted to mention it because I feel like this is going to have an impact on the consumer. All right, so now let's talk about some of the ingredients of the products. And since there are four products today and I don't want to make this video super long, I'm going to add some snippets. And if you want more details, maybe you could pause screenshot and you'll get all of the information right there.
All right, guys, that pretty much sums up my thoughts on Northwich Naturals. Hopefully, you gained some value from this video. If you did, leave me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All right, guys, I want to say a big thank you for watching and sticking it out till the end of this video. My name is Michelle, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.